Hello and welcome to Cherry Show about Bird Books movie. Now you probably heard everything, the good and the bad and the rest about this movie that already premiered quite a few weeks ago. But nevertheless, this is my topic about the movie and well, I'm probably one of the few who actually liked the movie quite a bit. Now, people who are not aware at all what Bird Box movie is all about, it's kind of a horror meets thriller meets drama. Um, I don't know how much people actually consider it a horror movie. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, undecided. It's not horror as such, but then again, there are lots of horror elements. So, it's kind of a hard to define, but basically overlapping quite a few different things here. Now, I try once again not spoil as much as possible. So here goes my five reasons, five reasons, why to watch Bird Box the movie on Netflix. Now, the basic idea with the movie is there's an unknown kind of thing that is making people, you know, kill themselves or get you into accidents and whatnot. And uh, this is one of the main things in the movie. The initial setting is just like, hey, this is some, you know, family things going about. Sandra Bullock's character, Mallory, is pregnant and she has a nice sister. And, you know, everything is just quite nice. Until it is not. A sort of an, not epidemic, but something in that direction is making things go very, very wrong. And suddenly things go really bad and people start to die, accidents start to happen and all that stuff. So it kind of starts very quickly uh, into this situation like everything is just a disaster. What the hell is going on around here and so forth. This actually reminds me of so many zombie movies and as such I was like, no, not one more zombie movie again. Well, I was positively surprised. It's not a zombie movie, even though it has certainly a set of similarities with these ones. It's a different thing, but I am say the original, the you know starting point, the initial setting on, on this movie is just great. It kept me hooked from the very beginning. And uh, well, even though one could say that it kind of loses its grasp, I tend to disagree a little bit. I find it fascinating. Maybe I was in a hangover is kind of a state of, you know, being a kind of oversensitive to this kind of movie. But I must say I enjoyed it because to me it felt at the same time kind of a fresh and also a kind of a sinister. So this setting and all the stories, by the way, based on a book, which I have been told is better than the movie as it so often is. But nevertheless, Unless you're a book reader, go for the movie and get it on with it. Uh, now, the second thing, which is very much related to the first thing of the initial setting and all that stuff, is the atmosphere. Throughout the movie, it's kind of like uh, ominous, it's very sinister, it's kind of a dark, not necessarily dark in you know all its essence, uh, but it keeps you kind of a guessing what's going to happen next. Now, this movie goes uh, forward in two different timelines and as such which is not a very original solution but it works very well for this movie uh, the atmosphere keeps changing a little bit and i must say i kind of like it because it keeps this contrast there it keeps you guessing even more some things you know from the very beginning that are about to happen and the kind of like uh, throwback uh, things which are explaining the background basically are giving you the reasons why something is happening and why things went to a certain direction in the first place. So I think they have their in place and I like this idea. I know a lot of people didn't, but if you haven't yet watched the movie, I think this might be the thing for you. Now, the third thing, uh, which I, I think is definitely worth mentioning here, even though it's not even the, the main character, is John Malkovich. Uh, He's a great actor, we all know that, but in this movie he has the sort of a personality with his character that is, I think, very interesting. He's also annoying, but he's then again also smart, but he's all charisma. And I think he's one of the most interesting things here. I mean, there are lots of good actors 
outside Malkovich team, but he's the one here. Now, I'm not a big fan of Sandra Bullock, but I would say she did quite a nice job with this movie. I think it's more about not her like acting skills as such, because these are all up for debate. I mean, she did a nice role with Gravity, but I think she's even more in it with this movie. Some say that she's like, uh, uh, kind of like all around flexible and all that stuff, whatever it means actually. But I think she's the kind of right type of an actress for this kind of movie. I think she did nice job and even for Sandra Bullock haters, I think they should give it a chance. Not all will like it, I know, but still worth mentioning. But John Malkovich, ooh, great work. Now, the four idea is something that I kind of mentioned already in the beginning, which is, uh, which is the fresh idea. Now, fresh is not something that is nowadays seen as much uh, when it comes to horror and thriller movies. Basically, all ideas have been recycled a million times before. We all know it goes back to ancient Greek and whatnot. Greece, sorry. Uh, and um, everything, every story is basically told already. But what I mean fresh here is that I like the, the way that this... Uh, horror element is brought into this thing. In zombie movies, we all know, they are like some undead creeps which need a headshot and then it's dealt with. And uh, that's kind of a boring at this point anyway. Uh, but this is more like this un unseen force, kind of a things, thing we don't understand. And it's still, still causing a lot of trouble, killings, people going crazy and whatnot. And I think this mystery thing is very interesting in this movie. So it, that's, in my opinion, a little bit fresh. It reminds me of some uh, M. Night Shyamalan movies, but actually in this movie, this Bird Box, uh, it's done way better than in Shyamalan uh, ideas. So uh, at least, in my opinion, it's kind of a fresh and quite nice. And last but not least, this could be meaningless to some people, but since I've been uh, following it so many years with more or less focus, the music here is very, very nice. I mean, it's constantly creating these kind of uh, nasty vibes here for the whole atmosphere. So they play a big part of the whole thing. While you cannot see it, while you might not be paying um, attention to it as such, I think it makes this movie what it is. Because, after all, all thriller, all horror movies are uh, made of something that we might not always see. I mean, it's the anticipation, the kind of a fear that something might happen. And the music plays a big role in that. We might not always understand it as such, but once you get the idea, it actually starts working even more for the benefit of the movie. So, um, definitely a great soundtrack, which I think uh, probably would be worth listening to on its own uh, and definitely one of the five reasons I want to mention here. So if you have seen Bird Box movie, what did you think? Why do you think it's a crap movie? Why do you think it's worth watching? Uh, these are my uh, reasonings, excuses and whatnot and uh, I'm looking forward to hear what are your thoughts. Thank you for watching and see you soon with more reviews and other videos coming your way. Take care!